Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a squad builder here on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Now, I'm going to base it around one particular player, but this truly is like my mega squad currently on FIFA 18. So, you can see a Brazilian icon is chilling in the centre forward spot. Who is it going to be? Well, of course, it is the 89 rated Ronaldinho. If you follow me on any social media like Twitter and Instagram, you will have seen that I picked this guy up the other day and was super excited to get going and actually use him. So, 89 rated Ronaldinho has got 80 pace, 85 shooting, 88 passing and 90 dribbling and 5 star skills. And the fact that he's Ronaldinho just makes me so excited to actually test him out on the game to see what he's all about. You can see his in-game stats right here, but I will do a much more uh, in-depth breakdown on this card uh, over on the FootWiz channel. Leave a link in the top right corner to them. I'll put that review live later on this evening uh, on their channel. And then I'll also have a double upload going up today. I'm going to do my club tour for the month of October later on this evening as well. So if you want to see all the crazy stuff that's in my club, check back later on the channel as well. And if you would enjoy, uh, if you do enjoy today's video, hit that thumbs up button on the vid. So... Getting on into the team that I've got Ronaldinho around. We've got my super team, basically. So I've got Neuer in goal. He is 92 rated, of course, and has been the most solid keeper I've used so far. You know, that's kind of obvious when you think about it. But yeah, he, he really is, like, reliable for me. And his distribution is just amazing. Um... My super defense features Kyle Walker at right back. Uh, I've got um, David Alaba at left back. So like they're two very quick players that actually have a bit of talent going forward as well. Uh, and then I've got rock solid center backs in Jerome Boateng. Managed to pack him untradeable the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check back on the channel for the two player packs. Because I got very lucky in them. Uh, and then of course, handsome Frank Rijkaard. He is just an absolute beast. I love him. Uh, he is He's my captain in this particular squad. Uh, we then move on to the midfield, and again, it's absolutely stacked. It's Icon City. Uh, we've got Patrick Vieira, 88 rated. He is uh, the highest rated Vieira that's out right now. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering how different he is to his prime icon. Um, and then, talking of primes, we do have the prime Rui Costa in the center of midfield. I actually think he's kind of more suited to that role than an out-and-out -out cam, because his finishing sucks. Uh, but overall, he's got great strength and stuff. And then, of course, we've got Rude Hullet, a complete and utter beast, probably the best player on the game at this point in time now moving on to the front three or the two wingers that we've got surrounding Ronaldinho I've gone for two more five star skillers now I may not be able to pull them off very often in game but I do like to try every now and again uh, but I don't think I get huge amounts of success from it because let's face it there are more there are better ways to actually get that ball in the back of the net than to do loads of tricks. However, I do like to try my luck with them every now and again. Uh, and it is obviously nice to have a team with JJ Acocha on one side, Ribery uh, when he's got his boosts on the left-hand side, and then, of course, Ronaldinho up front uh, Well, as my centre-forward in the false nine formation. So basically, everything is focused around the Brazilian, and we get to use him and utilise him to the best of his ability. So, that is the starting 11. Yeah, it's not a budget team, but it is a super team and one that I really, really enjoy using. Uh, probably the players that are likely to get sold very soon uh, would be the likes of Ribery and Akotcha, just because... I'm pretty low on coins right now after buying Ronaldinho. It sort of made me poor. Um... I can't get rid of Hullet or Vieira because I'm like too attached to them. Uh, my Rui Costa is untradeable. I'm too attached to Rijkaard as well. So the ones that have got to go. Although I am attached to Akotcha, I feel like he's got to go. And did Rude Hullet just run straight through the goal right then? If so, the man is just proving even more that he is just a, a magician and, and he can do anything he wants. Uh, but yeah, I got lots of goals with other players in this particular team. Notably like the, the likes of Ribery uh, and Rude Hullet uh, picking up lots of goals for the team. And then Mostly everything went through Ronaldinho. We'll get to his goals later on. Uh, and then, like I said, I, I am doing a FootWiz player review on him. I scored so many goals with him that all the goals in this video are different to all the goals in that video. So uh, make sure you check both of them out. But yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun to use a super team like this. I don't know if there's a way for you guys to do it as well. Like, if you don't have the... If you don't, if you don't want to put loads of money into the game and whatnot. Uh, obviously, Foot Draft is a great way to, to try out some better players. Uh, I'm also wondering whether or not... Can you do it this year where you, like... 
if you have me added on Xbox that you can go and play as my team or against my team and then switch it so that you're playing as it. I'm not 100% sure, um, but if so, uh, let me know in the comment section and then of course I can like distribute my gamer tag out there. Uh, and then you guys could go ahead and play as my team if you wanted to. It might only be against your mates in the same room, uh, but at least it would be an option for you to use players like this every now and again. So, Rui Costa managed to only really get one goal for me, but I've got to say I love him in that centre mid spot. He just, he does have the strength and... Actually, although he doesn't have the defensive stats, if a player like him has got pace and strength, then they're going to be able to stop people, like, get aggressive, like, interceptions and stuff in anyway. So, uh, he, and he's got Vieira and Hullet next to him, so he doesn't necessarily need to be the strong one or the one that has the tackling ability. But he kind of does a good job at it. And how awesome is that pitch there? All of these icons running together. I actually really like the kit. I hated this kit at the start of the game, um, but I've grown to use it. And when I'm using Ronaldinho to have, like, the yellow and green as much as i'm an ipswich fan and i dislike norwich and norwich colors and stuff like that i've got to say that this kit kind of it feels like sambari and brazili uh so uh yeah I'm, I'm using it currently because of ronaldinho and stuff maybe i just need to switch to the brazil kits with like yellow and blue uh, instead of the yellow and green so you're seeing all the goals that i'm picking up with rude hullet now he can score from anywhere wherever he wants whenever he wants uh but when you are using a player like ronaldinho you kind of want the focus to be on them so I was actively trying to get the ball to Ronaldinho, yet the odd mini chance that Hullet would get, he would stick it in the back of the net. And like, look at that for a shot. Like, I can't believe that still goes in the back of the net. The angle and the weak foot shot and like the, the height of it is perfect for the keeper to just parry out. Yet it has enough power that it goes underneath Donnarumma, even though he gets a touch and it still goes in the back of the net. Like that, he has this extra level of craziness happen to him all the time. Um, and he will, he'll like win your headers from corners, as you can see right there as well. He's genuinely the best player on the game that is for sure i wonder if having this 90 rated one will mean that i can submit him for the the prime rude hullet will prime rude hullet be the best player on the game we've seen what the team of the year midfielders are looking like iniesta kroos and modric so none of them are like huge beastly like super well-rounded cards i guess modric is but he's not tall so is hullet gonna be the best midfielder on the game for the whole year round if so do i do i want to like submit a two and a half million coin player for a prime version is he going to be that much different to the one that i've got which is tradable right now probably not um i'll see how i'm doing for coins at the time after using this Ronaldinho, and then at the capture event, I used the better version of Ronaldinho, the 91. It makes me more than ever probably want to get the prime version of Ronaldinho whenever that happens. Now, I know he's a position change out wide, but when you see the stats that he's got, play him at left forward in the 4-3-2-1, and then you can even move him up front or to cam or whatever in game. I think he might be the most fun, crazy player that we'll get to use all year round. I'm a massive R9 fan, I would say, in terms of, like, my favorite players ever. Zidane is number one, and then R9 Ronaldo is, like, number two. And I've always had this, like, fanboy thing for R9 Ronaldo and, and always wanted him in FIFA. But he's, like too expensive for me to buy right now i can't I, I would only want the 94 or the 96 because the 90s not got the five star skills and weak foot um but yeah i think i feel like ronaldinho's prime is going to be more affordable than me either buying the 94 r9 or getting the prime version of r9 so maybe that's the one i go for and if so i'd absolutely love my club if i could get a prime ronaldinho in there someday it would be absolutely I'd be buzzing. I'd be literally buzzing. Um, and you'll see in the goals that we're scoring here, everything just seems to go in with this guy. He is actually ridiculous. And this is the worst version of him. I was kind of skeptical for a couple of weeks. I've been looking at his price and trying to find one at a good price. I paid 1.9. I hadn't seen one before that under 2 million bin. Uh, so... I feel like I've got a good price on him. Whether his price is now just dropping and, I, and I'll, I'll no doubt end up losing coins. That's the way I trade. Uh, I'm a terrible trader and I always lose coins. But Ronaldinho, like, if this is the worst version of him, yeah, the other ones are great. Because I thought for a while that I wouldn't like this guy based off his pace stat. But, like, if you're going to play him as a cam or a centre forward, 80 pace is more than enough. 
and he didn't feel slow in the slightest. His acceleration's great, and with the added agility balance and all of that stuff that he's got, like, you can't go wrong with a player like this. Uh, and, you know, I tried to boost him up with using the Hawk chem style. Whether or not they work is for you guys to decide. I think they make a little bit of a difference here and there, but I think people, uh, when they see, like, what the stat boosts can change to, think that they don't work because they don't see drastic changes uh, in stats. But don't forget that your player's always on at least basic, so, so he's getting the pace boosts of basic and everything anyway. Uh, I don't know. That's an in, that's another debate for another day, I think, chemistry styles. Whether or not we think they, they truly do add extra stats onto your players and stuff if you're playing them on full chem. Uh, yeah, well, as I said, we'll maybe talk about that one in a different episode here. But that has been the squad builder around my main man, 89-rated Ronaldinho. Uh, absolutely love the guy. Him and Rude Hullet are my two favourite players in my club right now. And that is, of course, because I sold Peter Crouch Scream item, uh, which I regret doing. Because imagine a team with Ronaldinho and Scream Peter Crouch. That would have been fun. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Most importantly, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.